Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about the, be the behavior of high-pass RC circuit when a step input is applied. So in the previous video, we have seen how the high-pass RC circuit is acting when a sinusoidal signal is applied and later we have calculated the lower cutoff frequency as well. Now, see here, a step input is applied for this low-pass uh, high-pass RC circuit. I pass RC circuit, I told you C followed by R. Remember this. I pass RC circuit is nothing but C followed by R. First C is there, then R. Input is applied here and output is here. Here all these parameters, input, output and current, all these parameters are varying with respect to time because here we are giving a voltage which is having a credentials like this for T less than 0 voltage VI is equal to 0. For T greater than or equal to 0, VI now becomes V. This is the condition of the input voltage. Input voltage we are writing like this. See, this is the input voltage. And now, how the capacitor acting for this particular voltage and what are the different possible conditions in the output voltage? See, initially we know the capacitor is initially uncharged. Capacitor is initially uncharged. Remember this, whatever it is a low pass or a high pass filter, definitely the capacitor is initially uncharged. We are taking a fresh capacitor where it does not have any type of voltage across it. Okay. Now what happens until T is equal to 0, there is no voltage. Until T equal to 0, there is no voltage. So capacitor and resistor are completely idle and there are there is no voltage, there, there is no current passing through them. Now, exactly at T is equal to 0, the problem comes. What happens? There is a sudden change in the input from 0 to V. There is a sudden change, an abrupt change in the input from 0 to V volts. But we know the from basic nature of the capacitor is, capacitor does not allow sudden changes in the voltage. So at that particular instant, capacitor simply acts as a short circuit. Okay, capacitor, capacitor does not allow sudden changes, sudden changes in voltage. Capacitor does not allow sudden changes in voltage. Then what happens? It acts as it acts as short circuit. Capacitor does not allow sudden changes in voltage at that particular instant. I am talking at that particular instant. It is not forever. Only at that particular instant it is acting as a short circuit. Then what happens? Whatever the change that occurred at the input, the same will be passing through the capacitor and reaches the output. As the capacitor is acting as a short circuit, the circuit consists of only resistor. Whatever the input we have given, the same voltage will be appeared across the resistor, nothing but across the output. That's why at this particular instant at T equal to 0, whatever the input voltage we are giving, the same, sorry, whatever the input voltage we are giving, the same voltage coming to the output. Hope you understand now how we have got output initially here. Okay, so what happens after T greater than 0? So initially at that particular instant what we have taken, capacitor does not allow sudden changes, slowly capacitor now tries to charge up to what is the maximum voltage we have given until that voltage. See initially I am giving 5 volts, understand clearly what I am saying. Initially I am giving 5 volts, I will take I will take red color so that you can understand in a better way. See, initially I am giving 5 volts. This 5 volts, a sudden change will not appear across the capacitor. So what happens? Uh, I will go to the next slide and I will explain here. Mm. See, case 1. at t is equal to 0 because the change occurs at t equal to 0 input is equal to assume let it be 5 volts then 
capacitor simply acts as short circuit so capacitor acts as short circuit nothing but what is the voltage across capacitor it is 0 volts and what is the voltage across resistor it is 5 volts input we are giving 5 volts here so output we are getting 100% voltage the output is also equal to output also equal to 5 volts okay what is this waveform this waveform is input and x axis we are having time it is 0 okay so at this particular instant t is equal to 0 as the input is suddenly changing from 0 to 5 volts capacitor does not allow so capacitor acts as short circuit and whatever the input voltage that completely goes to the resistor and we are having at the output because the resistor is parallel to the output now second case second case is none other than at t greater than 0 at t greater than 0 input is same 5 volts but now capacitor what happens we are keep on applying the same voltage to the capacitor so capacitor tries to charge up to the voltage whatever we are providing at the input so input what we how much we are providing 5 volts so what is the purpose of capacitor now initially it was short circuited but now capacitor tries to charge slowly 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 to the maximum 5 volts so let us consider it starts charging and went to 1 volt what is the remaining voltage in the loop in this 5 volts what is the remaining voltage now it becomes 4 volts okay now in the second instant let us consider at t equal to g uh, i am taking at t is equal to 1 second or 1 microsecond capacitor is having voltage across uh, capacitor is 1 volt and resistor will be having 4 volts and now take t is equal to 2 microseconds at this particular instant capacitor now it charges up to 2 volts and resistor is now what is the remaining voltage 3 volts so this is the second case now it becomes 3 volts and it becomes 2 volts and 3 volts balanced finally the total loop voltage should be balanced and take another instant at t is equal to something like 4 microseconds c is charged up to 3 uh, something like 4 volts and r is equal to what is the remaining voltage 1 volt so 4 volts 1 volt okay and finally at t is equal to something like 5 microseconds which is the maximum period for the capacitor to charge to the maximum voltage and the voltage across capacitor now it completely charged up to 5 volts what is the remaining voltage in the loop 0 volts so when capacity is completely charged to the input voltage what is the output voltage 0 so what happens to the output voltage output voltage slowly decreasing input voltage uh, voltage across capacitor when it is increasing the output voltage decreases this is the behavior of the capacitor when a high pass rc circuit is considered okay see here slowly discharges like this when it completely goes to the zero it will be like this this is the way of the capacitor in the high pass rc circuit discharges for a constant or step input okay now here is the condition when rc is small what is the response when rc is greater what is the response when rc is very very small what is the response see this is the general way for the rc value which is which is just small okay if the rc value is large means capacitor takes very long time to charge capacitor takes very long time to charge means output also takes very long time to discharge so it will be like this then it is rc value is large suppose if the rc value is very small then this will be the response in this case rc is very small okay so this is the difference among these three curves when rc is very small rc is just small and rc is very large 
okay so now let us see how to write the output voltage equation we know the standard standard output voltage equation that is v not of t is equal to see whatever we have studied in the low pass rc circuit same will be applicable to the high pass rc circuit as well okay don't say that it is only considered for the low pass okay we have obtained this equation v not of t is equal to v final minus v final minus v initial into e power minus t by rc okay so what is the final value and what is the initial value here see consider the same characteristic curve what is the initial value initial value is input voltage v suppose if the input voltage is v input voltage is v what is the final value zero final value is zero what is the capacitor has to discharge up to zero so here v final is equal to uh, sorry v final is equal to zero volts and v initial is equal to <coughs> v volts okay so if you substitute that v not of t is equal to zero minus zero minus v into e power minus t by rc that is equal to v into e power minus t by rc v not of t okay see if it is exponentially decreasing signal this is the response like v into e power minus t by rc if it is exponentially increasing signal it will be v into 1 minus e power minus t by rc okay this is for exponentially decreasing exponentially decreasing exponentially decreasing signal okay for exponentially increasing signal it will be v into 1 minus e power minus t by rc i am not writing here if i write definitely you will confuse okay so this is for exponentially decreasing signal okay but how many time constants it will take to completely discharge or it goes to the steady state definitely five time constants whatever it is low pass or high pass rc circuit after five time constants 99 percent of the maximum voltage can be accomplished by the low pass or high pass rc circuit okay remember that point i am not writing here otherwise i will write here after 5 tau's nothing but 5 time constants 5 into rc the output will reach the steady state output will reach the steady state that means 99 percent of the final value 99% of the final value can be reached okay this is what the high pass rc circuit with a step input in the next class i will explain when a pulse input is applied for this high pass rc circuit how it behaves okay thank you